guess you can imagine where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's my tripod. Oh, I just about forgot it. I'll see you down at Root Rot Ronnie's. iron horses saw he he built it for a test saw friends and we are going to test it again today i've actually wicked it up a bit i've turned it up it's a beautiful day for getting firewood ron's been so kind to let me there's no milling going on back here ron is a firewood guy he burns firewood he has a cabin there's no there it may he did he sell timber back in the day no i don't even think he did when he when he did his his project here friends people own their wood it's their wood you can give them options you can say yes you've got enough here to make a logging truck load or but even then even then it's not even a break even a logging truck load depending on you know it's 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 a funny one you got to have a few loads to make it worthwhile logging machinery timber marks paperwork taxes everything that's involved in it you got to have some volume so but these small jobs like these would make absolutely make beautiful beams and boards just 1000 percent okay so here's the scenario does ron need boards no could he mill the boards hire someone to mill the boards and then him sell the 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 the, the beams and stuff absolutely does he want to no does he burn firewood yes end of story that's it it's done there's no more to be said so this beautiful stick without a limb on it for 70 feet is firewood and it's going to go to my shed and i'm going to tell you something right freaking now you want to see something look at this this is what i'm talking about now that's nice firewood real nice okay and i cut all my stuff 12 to 13 top length 14 top length I see a couple in there that might be 14, but more like 13. Let's check our boot here. There it is there, because I know what my boot measures up. No, no, this is perfect, it's 13. Actually, there you go, my boot is 12. So there you go, here's my boot. And there's 12, 13 inches right there. So that's actually perfect, that goes in the door. So we got some saws. I actually brought a couple of hot rod saws with us today, the 655 that I wanna try. <laughs> And uh, I brought some axes. I brought the original axe that made this whole thing start clicking and it's right there. That sucker right freaking there. <laughs> yeah, let's get going. All right, friends, how's everybody today? I hope you're good. We, we got a, I don't know if you could get a better day to do what I'm doing right now. I just don't, I got these little ear things that I, you know, the, you know, the ear things. I want to show you this 357 friends. It's been, uh, it's tuned up. Well, not, not turned up, but tuned and sharp. So I want to just, I want to show you how this thing's cut. It's good size fur and how it starts after Donnie Walker builds a saw for you. This is what happens. Cold start. Oh! Uh -huh. 
thing's crazy. I just did the rakers and hand file it, friends. It's cutting like a banshee, straight up banshee. So, <laughs> the reason I'm cutting like, like I'm doing here, I'm gonna cut a couple more with this saw and then I'm moving on. But I, I wanted to share this with you guys, gals, women, and children. Like, it's, it is no joke, this saw. This Donnie Walker 357 is craziness. I'm gonna come up the high side now. See, I got air. See, I'm in the dirt there, you see? So that's why I just bucked partially the way through, okay? And then find air and let it crack. See, I can let a four footer go now and I'm up in the air or, or I've got, you know, I've got stuff underneath the whole log. I've already prepped the whole log, but watch what happens here. I'll be able to finish this buck, maybe two. Actually, maybe two, yeah. So friends, I gotta be honest. Husky, you know, all these power saw brands, they've all made good saws. Every single one of them have made some special saws. The 372 uh, is, is a special saw. The 9.4 is, the 2100 is, the 66 is some good models. This 357, friends, I'm telling you, it's a stout little saw. That's the, that's the feel in the name of this stout. It's strong, it oils. It pulls like Donnie Walker. I mean, he, he does a number on these friends that is solid, super solid. So I'm just in my glory right now. <laughs> so friends, I'm shaking my head. Watch when I finish the cut. I, I'm literally, I, I, I could continue to buck this whole log with this saw. It's a Walker Eyes 357 that got dropped off up my driveway in a big box of carcasses. Do you remember it? And I give it to Donnie Walker. I got it going, but it was beyond my, my skill level as what it needed. It needed some newfangled parts, which I didn't have. Anyways, friends, what a beautiful saw. I gotta, I'm gonna fashion up a 28 inch bar for it. I had a 357 a long, long time ago and I traded it for a Pro Mac 1010.
Australia, Japan, Bulgaria, Hungary, all my overseas friends. How's everybody doing? Listen, um, listen to what happens to this song. impressive and that's just a stock chain uh that is an impressive saw do you hear it do that kind of that uh that is neat okay let's go split some firewood so friends this is uh this is my favorite thing to do obviously this is i would do this daily see that axe this is the famous gorilla with like a 37 inch handle I call it the tuxedo handle because it is 100% the leaf spring effect. It's it's 100% opposite of what they say grain orientation should be in a handle. But because it's long, this thing, I have, for those of you that have been around here a long time, you know this axe. Friends, I, I, honestly, I have just put this thing to work so much, so many hours on this handle. It's never given me a problem, not once. Never, never even thought about breaking. It's a leaf spring. It works like a leaf spring. That effect is real. And uh, it, it is no more truer in this piece right here. So anyway, friends, this is a, a, a lot of footage and splitting and bucking and all that. And I'm just highlighting it and running through some stuff. So there'll be a part two. And that'll be me filling up and heading out and heading back home. So um, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Give us a thumbs up, friends. Be kind to one another. And do the things that boost your spirit so that you're nice to other folks. Because if we feel good about ourselves... It's very, very difficult to not be nice to people. Well, I'll be darned. Hey, have you gotten your old school Buck and Billy Ray shirt yet? Well, friends, <laughs> buckandbillyray.com's got all the goodies. I like to give myself a little plug now and again. Top of the top of the afternoon skins to you. I like black coffee. Friends, the video's too long to gather everything that I do. I'm gonna bust this up. The next video is gonna be me finishing up coming home but there's a couple more saws to run still yet but it just let me know in the comment section friends and, and i know i've asked you this before but we've got a bunch of new people in i know that the older videos or pardon me longer videos work better for some shorter uh, work better for some others let me know what works good for you let's light up the freaking comment section i'm gonna ask you what's better for you longer or shorter let's just light the freaking comment section up i'll go through it and have a gander at it the last question I asked was, does the voiceovers work? And that was like a 99.9% .9 Yahoo on that one. Cheers to that. Yaza. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that, friends. I, I feel like it's warmer. I feel like, I feel like something's changing. There's a, there's a, there's a change of coming, friends. I feel it. The, the world is, is, is getting back. It's coming back. We're going to be able to just kick around normal. I want to travel so bad. We need a buck and stock, friends. Don't we? We need a buck and stock. Maybe, 
maybe we'll have two bucket stocks. We'll have one great big massive one, maybe in Indiana, and then we'll have a little mini one over at the old Essential Craftsman's backyard. Hey, with him and Nate and the, and the, and the crew. Hey, let's get it going on. Let's, let's get life going normal again. Walking around, living our lives. Friends, thumbs up, comment like I asked you. See what works best for you. Long, short, in between, all over the place. Let's light it up. I love you, friends. Catch you on the next video. Be kind.